Let's do it. There we go. What will happen? Oh my. Hey guys, this is Mr. Paul Zamora, and today we will combine the Wandering Trader and a Bone in Minecraft Pocket Edition. So here are the things that you need: lapis lazuli block, rail, powered rail, detector rail, block of redstone, redstone torch, button, hopper, and chest. Other items will follow later. So first, what we're going to do is to place the lapis lazuli block on the ground, and we're going to put here the button and send a powered rail here on the left and on the right just like that and then we're going to add here a rail and we're going to dig this part also on the other side just like that and we're going to put here uh, the block of redstone there we go and then another powered rail on top of the block of redstone and then more rails going this way one two three one two three this time we're gonna put the detector rail and the lapis block and then here we're gonna dig this part uh, two blocks deep and we're gonna put here the lapis block and then down in the hole uh, we're going to put uh, the chest and we're going to attach a hopper it must be straight just like that we must be sneaking for us to do that so let's check uh, let's dig this part here and also this two right here as you can see the hopper is straight directly to the chest so what we're going to do next is to dig uh, these parts right here until uh, we connect the two uh, lapis block and also this and then we will go down here and we're going to put the redstone torch just like that now uh here we're going to attach a redstone comparator uh, at the back of uh, the chest as you can see is attached and then we're going to put uh, another block here and send our redstone torch just like that so we're going to connect the two redstone torches with redstone dust just like this there we go and then we're gonna dig this part uh, right here we're going to put a redstone repeater as you can see the redstone repeater must be turned on we're gonna dig this part as well and then put the block and then this uh part as well and then this time we're gonna put the redstone torch make sure that the redstone torch is turned off and then we're gonna dig two blocks deep here so one two uh, three and then four times next we're gonna put a redstone repeater so one two three and we're gonna change the tick delay to maximum so one two three one two three one two three there we go next we're gonna dig this part uh, right here two blocks deep two times and then uh, this part right here as well and then uh, we will need the command block so for us to get it we just need to type here slash give at p and then it must be command underscore a uh, block check the spelling uh, there we go so where can we find it it must be here so we're going to uh, put a one here we're going to uh, type the command it must be a summon and then it's gonna be a right gen a colon fate underscore master there we go and we're gonna use uh, these symbols right here and then uh, on this part we're going to put another command block and this time it's gonna be summon and then it's gonna be lightning and then underscore bolt so we're going to summon a, a lightning bolt somewhere and it's gonna be here so we're going to put a lapis block and we're going to stand here you're going to take note of the coordinates so mine is 289 uh, 4 and then 93 so you should have paper and pencil while doing this so me while recording i have paper and pencil yours will be different so you should write it down so we must go back here and then type the coordinates so again mine is 289 uh, 4 
and then a 93 there we go next we will go here and we're gonna put a command block so let's just dig this part as well so this time the command block arrow must be pointing this way so that we can put another command block right here on the first one we're going to uh, type uh, it must be kill at e and then uh, we're gonna uh, put here a uh, type equal and then it's gonna be a wandering underscore trader there we go don't forget the colon and then here on the second one oh, we're going to type another kill at e command and this time it must be a type equal minecart there we go so we need to change the block type to chain and then redstone always active and there we go so we're ready to cover the hole here uh, with a grass block so that there's no evidence of anything or whatsoever we forgot this part right here we need to put a rail and we must be sneaking for us to do that so we need to go somewhere here we're gonna dig uh, two blocks deep up to two times and then i'm gonna dig this part right here as well as this now i'm gonna put a command block this time i'm gonna use a command it must be kill at e and it must be a type equal llama check the spelling it must be double l and then the block type must be repeat and redstone always active as you can see it should turn blue and i will put another command block this time it's and then it must be a wandering underscore trader and we must use these symbols right here there we go so we just need to put here redstone repeater and our redstone dust and then we can now cover this and then we're gonna put the button right there so there we go basically we are done with our machine so all we have to do right now is to put here a minecart and then here minecart with chest and uh, we're gonna get a bone so we're going to type here slash give at p and it must be a bone just like that as you can see i'm holding one bone so we're gonna put it here inside the minecart with chest there we go so there's one bone and then we're gonna press this button but we need to get rid of this rain first so let's now push the button and as you can see there is the wandering trader oh my goodness it looks so awesome so we have the wandering trader and then inside this minecart which is we have a bone so wandering trader plus bone let's see what will happen so let's now push the button let's do it there we go what will happen oh my goodness what's that oh my goodness the wandering trader is gone and what's this what in the world of minecraft is this oh my goodness what entity is this can can we look it's an old man oh my goodness it looks like it's holding a staff it's like a wizard oh my goodness this is so awesome and it has power oh my goodness look at that his staff is like a bone so that's the reason why we need uh, to combine the wandering trader and a bone for us to have this uh wizard it's an old wizard but it's a powerful wizard look at that he's using his power right now this time his eyes turned yellow a while ago it's red oh my goodness i'm not sure if this uh, wizard is hostile so let's change the game mode uh to survival to find out there we go are you hostile i think he's friendly this time his eyes turned oh my goodness what oh my goodness he's attacking me right now i have the slowness effect why are you attacking me i thought you are uh, friendly oh no 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 oh my goodness i am levitating right now this wizard is too powerful can i attack you can i attack oh my goodness he's gonna kill me what oh my goodness i only have a few hearts left come on i'm gonna punch you i'm gonna punch you, you old man what Oh my goodness, what's that power this time? Oh my goodness, what? Oh my goodness. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh.
Yeah.